Next step is to cut and roll the wall just to get the first coat on there. Then after the first coat, we're gonna let it dry, sand it again, and hit the second coat. And then we'll be finished. Hope y'all enjoy. So the reason why you sand a wall first is to get all the imperfections out of the wall and also to scratch up the surface, which gives the paint a place to adhere to the wall, allows it to sink into those scratches and really stick to the wall the way you want it. Um, so next, you cut and roll the wall. Um, you want to cut the wall first um, because once you roll into your wall, you want to roll into that cut, and especially while it's wet. Really, you're seeing us do the first coat, so it doesn't really matter. It's not as important as the second coat. Um, so on the second coat, you have someone cut in, as you see us doing, and right behind them at this, around the, approximately just after they finish cutting, you have a person to roll the wall. And it, it allows the cut to stay wet while you roll into the wall, and it all dries at an even finish. And that gives you that luxury, even, smooth, uh, smooth coat with no flashings, no shinings, no difference in appearance throughout the whole length of the wall. Back to it. Okay, real quick, explain why we take the top of all frames, even door frames, window frames, uh, whatever type of frame. But when you're painting this, you're actually you can flatten the paint correctly to where it doesn't create a line that shows the difference from where you brushed it and rolled it. See what I'm saying? So you have to bump the tape yeah. every time. But don't use much paint, of course. Right. Don't use much it's a paint. small space. But it's a small space, so you want to actually mm -hmm. bump that. And that way it lays down the paint. See, and that's trash that I was talking about earlier. <laughs> that's when you know it's time to switch sides. Well, not yet. Soon. Yeah. Really soon. Yeah. So now you're gonna see us uh, roll the wall out now. And a big tip is whenever you are rolling the wall, always roll the height of the wall. Never stop in the center of the wall, the middle of the wall. Always roll the height of it. Even if you go up and down uh, or side to side, once you finish that back roll and roll the height of the wall completely, it gives you that that luxury finish that a professional would would, uh, would execute. So I'm going to be giving tips here and there on the easiest way to actually paint. A lot of people don't enjoy painting, but it's really simple once you follow key steps and don't forget uh, key steps. So just stay tuned. You'll hear uh, tips here and there to actually paint your own home and you know enhance your own investment. Uh, just stay tuned and always watch out for rolling shades.